admit that the cooking is strange. But what do we care? We just want to be there. I'm on the range with you. So what if John does the cooking and Barbara does the stirring? We like what we see, so keep on occurring. I'm on the range with you. Stand the trash man is watching the scene and making real sure that everything's clean. Brother Robert is there, so you won't go anywhere. You better be all right because security is tight. Big Al telling folks they better laugh at his jokes. And Manuel and Ken are the other two men who help you get going so we can start showing. I'm home on the range, I'm home on the range with you. So Barbara, don't be late. John Hurd has got to tape. Mama Jean's at the gate and you better not be late. The audience is waiting and anticipating. It's time to start the show and we really gotta go too. I'm home on the range. start why don't we start folks please a nice round of applause for your stars have been home on the range the cooking show for the deranged mr john crean and his barbara the next year yes. <laughs> This is a rowdy group. Very rowdy group. These groups are getting weirder and weirder. Mm. It must be Al. Well, hey, welcome no. to the garage. We are back, no. and we have some fun things tonight. Do we? What do we have? Yes. Well, you know, one of the most exciting things in my life is when I get a new sponsor. Yes. And we have a new sponsor. Who's the new sponsor? Well, actually, it's an old sponsor that came back to us, and it is the Pottery Shack in Laguna Beach. Oh, terrific. So the Pottery Shack is back there, right on Pacific Coast Highway. And you know, every week I go and I shop in different places, and I've been coming up with some really wild things. Well, now that I have the Pottery Shack, I'll be able to get to more normal stuff. Oh, I hope so. I know. Boy. So I was shopping in the Pottery no more, Shack. No more candoms. <laughs> yeah. She would come up with the dumbest things, boy. They're not really dumb, but you know what? They're I know because this is the summertime, okay? And so you're on the road and you're traveling, and you especially in your motorhome. So what I picked up was Route 66 dishware. And the, the route, these are all maps. Isn't like that of great? different places. So if you're in your motorhome and you get lost, you could just go into your closet <laughs> and then follow the map oh, on the I, dishes. I, I wish I'd have thought of that. Isn't, Isn't that, that the neatest oh, thing? Boy. And this is available at the Pottery Shack. And then this I thought was very, very clever because it's for the major coffee lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much that this is. That is clever. But it's, I bet that's a lot of money. Do oh, they, I don't know. Does the Pottery Shack still have the same high prices? No, they don't. <laughs> pottery Shack is not expensive. You get unique things to plus. You know, they have redone their store. Oh, have they? Yes, so they have really great stuff, but isn't this... They don't even have a store. They're outside. No, there is a store. Ugh. No, it's Wait. all outside. It is not. And then, okay, look at this at home on the range, and then you have a little cutting board that's made of wood. Didn't you like this? That Kinda is like terrific. Does the hat thing. That you know, is terrific. Little. Okay. Uh, then, okay, now people have children, right, with terrible table manners, and you can put these little table mats out, and the little buggers can learn their table isn't manners. Isn't that good? Eating, yes. You know, my, my kids are 45 years old, and they, they, got, no, they got no manners at all. Well, I thought this was very, very good. And then when, good. You're, when you're on <clears throat> in your RV and you park for the night and you want to have a couple of margaritas, look at that, plastic. Plastic. Plastic glass. So if you get loaded and fall down, you won't break them. No. Terrific. <laughs> Listen, why don't we, we, we got to cook, So Barbara. that's what I found at the Pottery Shack. And Barbara, so go we, and visit them. We've got to cook. Okay, but if we're cooking, you know the next thing we need. Okay. Breath assure. Oh. Oh. This is wonderful, and I just, this is the internal breath freshener. You take three of these little pills, and you could eat garlic, all kinds of stinky stuff, and you smell great. And this will make you successful in business because people will want to do business with you because you smell better. Isn't that nice? And it will help your sex life. 
because people want to have sex with you because you smell better. <laughs> so this little product, talk about the domino theory. This could really change your life. I don't know if it could change your life, but it could change <laughs> most people's lives. So we hope that you get Breath Assure. In fact, you know what, this weekend, I was in New York and I was in Little Italy in my favorite place. And I let Stan the Trash Man eat all the garlic he wanted because I could give this Isn't to him. that nice? Yes. Okay. Okay. And they sent the check. Yes. All right. Oh, all right. and then, can I show you this? Okay. okay but this is a guy in his 60s. Why don't we, why, we, this is a cooking show. Okay, Barbara. okay. One more thing, Barbara, one more looking, thing, gonna... one more thing. Okay. This is Orange Coast Magazine, right? And on the cover. Why don't we tell the people what we're going to do? Because I already, I already got the potatoes in the, in the, in the what pan. What are we making? We're making shepherd's pie. And shepherd's pie is kind don't of don't get too excited. You no. haven't seen it yet. No, it's kind of it's kind of a it's kind of a beef stew with a mashed potato uh, crust on it. On Another the gourmet dish. Oh yeah. It's okay. Good. Well, now this guy is in his 60s. Okay. This is Chief Daryl Gates. Remember him from the L.A. riots? Thanks. Okay. Daryl? No, I don't. You don't know who he is? Look at the body on this old guy. He is only a couple of years younger than you. And I guarantee you that without that shirt, you do not look like this. <laughs> now, how would you know, Barbara? You haven't seen me without this shirt. Well, I think that if you could get your body to look like this, they would put you in... It's not bad. I don't think chicken skin counts. They... <laughs> if you could get your well, body... Well, he don't have a chin like this. No, he doesn't. No. Nah. But if you could get your body to look like this, then maybe you could get into Orange Coast again. Okay. Which Why don't would be we very cook? exciting. Turn the fire on under the big frying pan. So how do you know how to make shepherd's pie if you're not a shepherd? My son was a shepherd. Was he? My son that has a Villanova. Oh. Before he, he bought the Villanova. <laughs> oh. No, that's, that's true. Before, before he bought the Villanova, he was changing careers for about four years. <laughs> and when people asked him what he did, he said he was a shepherd. Is there a big call for that in Orange County? No, they, they have hardly any sheep at all in Orange County. Oh. So he was out of work, but he said his, his occupation was a shepherd. Well, you do come from a colorful family. Yes. Okay, right. so now I have this oil. And, and if you put it on a fire, the pan will get warm. <laughs> Here, all right. So now chop okay, this so up. Okay, so this is that's, what? That's potatoes. That's going to be mashed potatoes. Okay. And if you put the lid on, it will, that will boil quicker. Okay. Because that, that's going to be quick. I mean, we're going to be here a long time because that's got to, those have to cook. So now what do I do with this? Chop it up in little pieces. <laughs> I, I'm adding, you know, chopping to my stirring. You know, I've been trying to work on this book that I'm writing, A Stirring Success. So far, I've come up with a title, but I can't think of anything to put in the book. <laughs> that is a good title. Well, I'm, try I'm, I'm thinking that maybe it will be a how-to book um, on how to stir. And so I have, I have three different techniques, but I don't know if I like I want to share them, you know. I mean, that's job security. <laughs> I was thinking the other day, if I didn't have this job, I don't know what I would do. You'd probably have to go to work. <laughs> like normal people. Well, I don't know actually what I'm qualified for. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> See, we're going to put something else in there. Do I put oh. this in here? No, no. You've got to get that hamburger brown. Well, it's taupe. It's not brown. It's got to be brown. <laughs> It's got to be brown. But look how it is mashed. I mean, these little burgers are mashed. No, they're this... not. You've got to mash them up, get, them, get it all. Well, it's mashed as well as I could get it. I mean, why don't you just gr let me grind it up before I put it in the well, thing? What's been ground, but, but kind of like, you know, no, 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 like this, like this. Ah! You just like splash that. Well, that's because my hand is wet. I thought we, because it was raining tonight, no one would show up in the garage. You must be die-hard fans. Yeah. But then again, this is free, so... It's free. <laughs> it's free, yeah. We got free bagels and everything. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Oh, that's getting close. Is that's it getting, getting close? close? That's getting close. That's but getting it's not close. brown. It's still like a darker it's shade it's of toad. It's going to get brown. It's going to get brown. We got to put some other stuff in there. Uh, this is beading up. Is that supposed to happen? Beading up. What yeah. is beading up? I can like this little beadings in here. No, I don't. And then where, what's all this water from? That comes out of the hamburger. Should we drain it? No, oh, no, I have a thing no, from the evaporate. pottery shack that will drain no, water. Evaporate. Do you want to see right. it? No, no, I don't want to see it. Just keep stirring, Barbara. <laughs> God, keep stirring. I'm feeling that my creativity is being stifled. We got to put some more stuff in there. Let's hope so. Put something in here to absorb this water. This gray water no, the wa it looks no, the, like sludge. The water is going to evaporate. Is that grease? Oh, you know I don't eat grease anymore. Two, two teaspoons full of vinegar here. A vinegar? What kind yeah. of vinegar? Keep stirring. Oh. Rice vinegar. The reason it's rice vinegar is the only kind of vin vinegar I could find in the cupboard. Oh, is it? It's got a Japanese name. So it's Japanese vinegar? I think so. It says Nakano. So is this like an interracial dish? I guess so. Uh, <laughs> now. Very uh, 90s. Oh, my gosh. we got to have parsley. What? Did you forget something? No, no, no. We're doing well. Okay. I probably will before the night's over, though. I always do. Um, potatoes are boiling. Good. they got to boil for about 20 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Now that this is in such little pieces, it's falling through my, my thing. I need oh, something solid. Terrific. Now we can put the, uh, put the onions. Can I have another utensil? Put, this is one onion and one red bell pepper. Okay. I, I don't like this utensil. Okay. Well, we've got to make you happy, so I'll give you something else. Would you like a red that one or a really white one? That is really key to stirring, is having the proper utensils and now, the right color. a white one or a red one? Red to match my nails, but it has holes in it. I don't want holes oh, in it. without holes. I want one minus the holes. It's gone. I mean, is that too much to ask for? Ta -da. <gasps> Thank you. Thank All right. you. All right. Boy. Boy. And we've been doing this for two years. No wonder my voice is going. I'm getting to be a temperamental star or anything. I've actually been very easy to live with now that fame has knocked on my door. It says to put one clove of garlic. But you know, actually, your voice that way sounds good. Does it? Yes, it's like... Feels it, terrible. Feels, it sounds sexy, don't right. you think? Well, I don't know. <clears throat> that's one, one teaspoonful of garlic, crushed garlic. Crushed garlic. And that's, garlic. The same, that's the same as one clove of garlic. See, now, because you're eating garlic, you know what you should be eating after uh -oh. this, don't you? Three breath assure tablets. Oh. I love that you, orgasmic reaction from the crowd. You know what? Every recipe I've ever had says to put in a bay leaf and then take it out. Why? It just Could says you use it again? Take it out. No, I don't. But this recipe, recycling. this recipe says to chop it and put it in. The whole thing, everything. I know all about recycling because my husband's in the garbage business. Okay. Now we put the bay leaf in? Yes, but you know what? Since you chopped it up, how are we going to get it out now? You're not. <laughs> we don't take it out. We leave it in there, and if you eat it, you'll die. You're dripping, <laughs> you're, you're dripping stuff all over the stove, Barbara. If you keep the spoon over the stove, over the pan, then it won't really? get Will all over the stove. Really? Will you die if you eat this? I don't think so. Not right away. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. How will we know if these are done? Well, when they're done. Can you tell? Yeah, but they'll never cook in midair. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look, no. the knife goes through them. They're not done. They're not Put the done. lid on. Put the lid on. they gotta, they got to cook a while longer. Well, now, so how are you supposed to know if they're done or not if you don't pick them up? Well, you take the, you put the knife in them, and if they kind of fall apart, they're done. So you want right. them to be to fall apart? Yes. Okay. How many pieces do they have to fall apart in? Oh boy. A lot of pieces. How's that? Okay. Okay. Well, if you were to cut them up smaller, right? Right. Then how would you know if they were done? I guess you wouldn't. Oh boy, are these real questions? <laughs> Oh, well, man. you know, and then they wonder why I don't know how to cook. Two years, wonder, you would have thought you, I would have learned something. I wonder how you find your way down here. <laughs> okay. Well, we had a very, very nice dinner tonight. You know, we have started to eat before the show, because then, you know, you cook, you're hungry, it's tempting. 
And so we had a very nice dinner from the chef of the Villanova came over and fed us. Boy, it was a lot. It was, it was, you turn, you turn the fire off. It was a lot. It I was fact, delicious. Fact, it was too much. I'm still full. You are? Yes. Um, wait, I shut this off. Okay, left Turn that on. front burner. Barbara, turn that one okay, on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Turn that one on. Okay. Because without the fire on it, it won't cook. Okay. Now, spread Put those this around. Put on our Busby Berkeley camera. Those, spread those around evenly in that pan. Okay, it's spreading around evenly. What are you doing, Barbara? I'm beating the meat. <laughs> You're, you're, I'm sorry. You're splattering, you're splattering stuff all over the... Uh, you know, I just don't know what come over me tonight. Look what you're doing to the stove, though. You're splattering stuff all over the stove. Now, I think it's just the heat. The heat is just too we, much for me. We forgot something, Barbara. we got to do that What do we have ketchup. to do? We, salt and pepper. We're supposed salt to put salt and pepper. and pepper in there. Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to have a half a teaspoonful of salt. Yes. Well, let's clog so, those arteries. Yes, Baby, yes. let's go. Yes, sir. And you got you got you got to stir this all up now. After I just flattened it out. Stir it up. Uh, <clears throat> we should have put it in there when it was in the um, in the pan, but as you know, I always forget something. You know what amazes me is that you can remember who the president was like 40 years ago, but you can't remember to put salt in this. <laughs> okay. How, well, let's see. I wonder how our potatoes are doing. <laughs> hey, you know they're, they're they're just about done. Oh, good. Can we beat them, mash them? Let's give him another minute or two. This is only a 21-minute show. Okay. Oh, we're all right, aren't we? I think, no, I think this is ready. You think it's ready? Now, do you have a strainer? Because I have something we could strain with. Okay. I have a strainer. Okay. What were you going to suggest? Well, now, these, I aren't, these aren't done, but Barbara's impatient, you know, and... Uh, well, it's a half a strainer. A half a strainer. A half a strainer. All right. Yes, it's a very trick thing. Stay there. Okay. Now we're going to use our... See it on our Busby Berkeley camera. Oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is dripping. Now, put it okay. in. Okay. Put them in here. Okay, now we've we got to put butter in there. Where's the butter? Butter right here. Is that butter or margarine? This is margarine. Margarine, okay. You know, I heard on the radio yesterday that margarine will kill you quicker than butter will. Really? Yes, yes. Ha. Huh. So we'll just die. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now. now okay, so now what do I do? Some nutmeg. 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 This make, it makes it really good. What is nut? Does nutmeg smell like anything? Oh, it smells real good. It smells nice. I don't think so. Yes. Are you and this sure? this is paprika. It smells like cleaning fluid. No, that's a very nice smell. Cool. Okay. Right. Now, could I please have something to stir with? Or should I use this? You are not going to stir. We're not stirring? You're not stirring. We've got our handy-dandy KitchenAid mixer. Oh. It's going to stir. Which and you've placed in if, the back there so no one can see it. If anybody hasn't butt. got a handy-dandy KitchenAid mixer, they should get one. Really? Yes. Yeah, so now we've got to put a couple more things in. Okay, a what are you putting of, in? A couple of tablespoons full of half and half. Is this a real way to make mashed potatoes or? Yes. Or are you just making this up? No, this is, it's on, it's on, it's, it's on the, it's on the Time Life recipe. <laughs> I mean, now all we got to do is look at your flat butt. Okay. All right. Your butt is getting flatter and flatter. Either that or those pants are getting bigger and bigger. No, my pants shrink. They do. In the closet, they shrink, yes. <laughs> now, boy, look, look at this, this stove. You've got this stove, such a mess throwing. Barbara, after two years, you should learn how to stir without throwing a food all over the stove. Don't you think? Hmm? All right. No, it's a funny color. That's because of the paprika. Well, does like paprika taste like anything? Yeah, it's kind of hot, spicy. Well, and I liked it white better. And it's Hungarian. Because now, against this white, it clashes. It does, yeah. It does. It doesn't look but good. You, it should be red or something else. Yeah, well, I only got two two bowl, two pans that look alike, and and because we had to 
bake this for a little while. I thought it would be a good idea to make it ahead so now, of time. Now, does this have to be smooth? Yes, now smooth it out. with. Now, try not to get the stuff from underneath up on the top, okay? okay. And smooth it out while I rinse this out, okay? You know, we could actually make some designs in this if That'd we really nice. wanted to be creative. Why don't you do that, Barbara? Okay. Okay. So we're smoothing this out, and then we make a little mountain here. <laughs> and then we make a ski slope. Isn't and that then, nice? Look, you can make another eye here. Terrific. Terrific. Or they could now. be two boobies. No. 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 No, this is, this is sharp cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar cheese. Yes. No, you smooth it evenly, Barbara, evenly. Evenly, it's even. Evenly. <laughs> I'm spreading it, I'm spreading it. You sure do, oh boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, look at now, that. Now, we put that in the oven for... Uh, how long? About 10 minutes. At how hot? At real hot. Okay. And, and through the magic of television. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. It's Come hot. on, hurry up. It's hot. It's hot. I bet you hear that a lot. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> there we have it. That is shepherd's pie. Another successful next All right. Friday. Cooking is strange, but what do we care? We just want to be there. I'm home on the range with you. So what if John does the cooking and Barbara does the stirring? We like what we see, so keep on occurring. I'm home on the range with you. John's dog Jack made us famous, you know. We cooked him some dog food right here on the show. Jack the dog is a celebrity now. We have to cook him a different kind of chow. Right? They always come to see us whenever they're in town. So we like to have our relatives from Anaheim around. Sam the Trash Man is watching the scene and making real sure that everything's clean. Brother Robert is there, so you won't go anywhere. You better be all right because security is tight. Big Al telling folks they better laugh at his jokes. And Manuel and Ken are the other two men who help you get going so we can start showing. Oh, 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 oh.